Hi, Les from Thailand. Retired and living the dream. What's going on in Thailand? Oh, there's all sorts of things going on in Thailand at the minute. Um, now, the, there's a, now, the government is suppressing any bad news with regard to Thailand. So I'm not here to give any bad news with regard to Thailand. I'm not going to show any bad pictures. They don't want the media or anybody to show homeless people in Thailand or people who are getting free food around Thailand but there are plenty of YouTube videos showing exactly what's going on in Thailand at the moment. Now I live in, in Rayong so we're not really a tourist dependent place in Rayong or province in Rayong so life is pretty much the same here in Rayong, Thailand. So we sort of live in a bit of a bubble. So for those people who want to come to Thailand just to retire in Thailand there's places you can go and live and you wouldn't know that was COVID going on or anything else like that. There are restrictions now in Rayong because Rayong has become a, a deep red zone so travel restrictions, curfew on the evening time and but most of the shops are still open. The shopping malls are closed but the um, eateries or the food court can do takeaway foods and pretty much life goes on normal in our village. We've had COVID with our next door neighbour, went into quarantine, he got it from one of the mom and pop shops. So the two mom and pop shops that were close to us, up to 20 people got put into quarantine, but thankfully all the 20 people came out of the field hospital okay. So um, Rayang at the minute has had 9,000 infections, but of only 34 deaths. But out of them 34 deaths, majority of people have had underlying health conditions. So there is a big panic on at the minute with, with Thailand with regard to COVID. The numbers are going in the wrong direction, they're going upwards. So that puts in doubt any other things that are going on in Thailand with regard to opening up Thailand for, for tourism. Um, the sandbox, they're having their problems with regard to the COVID numbers going up, going in the wrong direction again. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that because Phuket is a long way from where I live. And again, I'm sure those people who are interested in coming to Thailand have got their eyes set firmly on Phuket because that's the easiest way to get back into Thailand with regard to restrictions and that. But I've talked to many people who have emailed me and, and said the problems that they have getting even into Phuket with the certificate of entry, the insurance, the COVID test before the fly, alterations of the hotel accommodation from STA to STA plus. They're still playing around with the conditions of people coming to Thailand. And now with the COVID going in the wrong direction, I would say them alterations are going to take even more. So unfortunately for those people who want to come to Thailand for holidays, I would personally say put it off until next year. The numbers have gone from April 2000 a day up to now 21,000 a day in August 2021. So it took four or five months to get to this position. I think it's going to take at least five to six months to even get the, the figures down. So unfortunately Thailand is in the wrong direction. So I would put off any holidays to come to Thailand with regard to having a holiday is because everything's closed, everything's shut. For those people who want to come here and retire, Thailand is still open. There are still many places that you can go to in Thailand. That's not entertainment zones. So from Les telling it how it is in Rayong, Thailand, I'm still here living the dream and hope for those people who want to come here and retire, they can do so. There's various hoops and that you have to jump through, but you can get there, that's no problem. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Until the next video, bye for now.